What's going on people, it's your boy Pete. Got another video for that ass and right now we breaking down Bones Carcass. He just dropped that album not too long ago. About, you know, say about two, two months ago. Make sure you definitely check it out on Spotify. You know, you, you can check it out on SoundCloud, you can check it out on Dat Piff and all that, but at least Spotify, you know, we can get the niggas some bread because it is a dope album. I think all artists deserve to be paid for what they do. So make sure, you know, you go check out a show streaming on Spotify. I don't know if it's on like Apple Music and shit. If it is, check it out on there and uh, support Bones for putting out a dope project. I uh, probably listened to it about four times now. It's pretty short. It's only about like 19 minutes, 20 minutes total, like running time. So first when I listened to it, I was just running and I kind of made that mistake. I usually have my headphones up loud and this album, <laughs> you don't want to just have your headphones or whatever you listening to it through. Actually, you should listen to it on headphones because whatever the engineer and the producers were able to do with uh, separating like the vocals from like the hard hitting bass, like I've always found that to be a problem. Like as far as like, you know, mixing music on my own and stuff like that to, to really separate like those low lows and those hard hitting basses so they don't get muddy within the vocals. And I think the engineer, whoever mixed the track, did an excellent job with that and definitely let me know who engineered this album because it was it was dope they were able to keep everything nice and loud and punchy and hard hitting but also keep bones vocals right up front and then if you listen to it in headphones you can hear it you know a little bit in the sides and everything like that like a little, little ad lib over here so definitely listen to it in headphones or a good sound system to really get a treat don't you know turn it up too loud you might rattle your whole fucking house blow your windows out or something like that but uh i'm gonna break it down track by track so let's get into it all right so the first track is blast zone now as i was saying earlier i was listening to this while i was running almost made my ears bleed just how powerful this track was just coming on it's just like it hits you right from the beginning that real heavy bass i don't even know if bones has had bass that heavy and that clean in some of his tracks i i know like rest in peace like that bass definitely was heavy but it was a little more distorted so you know you you weren't exactly able to gauge it and i think some of his vocals were struggling a little bit to get above that but what the engineer did on this uh whole project was amazing as far as just like the sheer clarity of it keeping everything clear and punchy at the same time you ain't really out here selling zip zips boy. you could do it to a mate zip zip nah, zero competition so they piss piss i get on the stage and it's rip rip now the second track character select was also another hard-hitting track much like blast zone you know where bones comes in with the verse you know the hook and then the other verse just hits you with a whole nother bomb so it was definitely a good track too Rock, rap, rip like tissue. I got way too many issues. Bitch. Bad thoughts drop like missiles. Geronimo, you know bones don't miss you. Now the third track, Tissue, was also a hard hitting track, and I think it was a little bit more of a you know deeper meaning for Bones. Bones on this album, he was getting into more you know personal stuff, really establishing the fact that he's respected, establishing the fact that he's one of the kind of guys who really. It's like the like the father of like the underground sound, like the underground dark, you know, it's like the bones, suicide boys and all that. And he even layers his his, his vocals a certain way where it's it sounds like it's doubled a little bit, but he, he does it in that specific tone. But it's not like monotone, like like you, you, you listen to 21 Savage and he has like a particular tone, but it sounds just kind of monotone a little bit. But bones is voice is kind of dark but it's still like crisp and it still gives you a feeling of uniqueness that's obviously hard to find and actually um i think some some guy named old soul you should check out old soul he uh kind of sounds a lot like bones you know honestly check it out let me know what y'all think now the fourth track down the drain i like the structure of the song it was structure real good the from everything from the hook to the verses to what bones was saying on there 
you know, Bones, Bones really showed out with this album, just keeping it nice and concise and just making tracks that speak to the people. You ain't from the woods, you don't know about this. Fan they rock and roll, no car walk stone. Nobody in my Levi's, let's be proud of The fifth track, another 24 hours of convincing yourself was, I think one of the standout tracks on this album. It had had an interesting beat to it. You know what I mean? Kind of Bones telling about his early life and really connecting with people. And I like the fact that Bones is more into, you know, just like more old school hip hop principles as far as like, yo, y'all niggas ain't better than me. I'm out here, I'm, I'm doing my thing. Bones will break it down to so like, yeah, in the beginning, you know what I mean? Shit wasn't working out. I was, you know, sad. I kind of wanted to, you know, end shit to now I'm up on top. People want to be me. You know, it just like he was saying in the old in the last album, it never gets old waking up to your dreams. You know what I mean? So shit like that where it's a little more relatable, where people can kind of touch it. It's a little more tangible than just like you just splurting off some drugs that, you know, people associate with rappers, but you may not even do that shit. You may save me the left track, I pass that. Tell your manager to take his check and go cash that. He gon' need it. Hope that he just save it. Rain now the sixth track, I'm Certainly Not Worth Your Time, was I think the best track on the album, mainly because the way it was sequenced, it sounds different than anything else on the album. He had that heavy guitar riff and it was produced by a Virus and an Antidote, I believe. So they definitely came, or he or they, or whatever, definitely came with a different sound to the album to separate you know, the beginning tracks from the end tracks to, to, to really kind of I think it signals a, a turn in the sound of the album. It was like, all right, we was doing like the heavy hitting, like gross, distorted bass in the beginning. Now this this track here is more of like a like a turning point, and then we're gonna take the album somewhere else because the rest of the album is, is is a little more you know dark and a little more different sounds, like you know piano driven and stuff like that. So. Now the seventh track, Shame On Me, I like the side chain drums in the beginning, just how it comes on and just like the drum kind of punches into that bass. That was real dope. Cause I'm, I'm really into like the production side of things and like how things sound. And I really love the sound they were able to achieve with this album, keeping everything big and punchy, but still, you know, making everything clear and you can hear everything is concise. Bones vocals sound fucking great. I don't even know what kind of mic he records with, but I'd like to use something like that one day. Now the eighth track, Bad News, um, is also a dope track on this uh, album. He sounds kind of like, he, he, he sounds a little bit more like he's having fun with this one. Like he he uses a, a little bit of Drake's uh, Jumpman flow. You know what I mean? He's like, dun, 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 whoa, dun, 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 dun. So, so, you know, it's like Bones kind of stepping out of character. But uh, a, as you know, a little bit ago, he kind of changed the whole sound of the album. And Bones also has an interesting line on this song where he talks about, you know, jumping in the crowd with his jewels on and then coming back with everything, but his shoes being muddy, really signifying like, I know my fan base, you know, the, the, in this dead boy culture, we have certain rules that people know that they're not going to break. Like some, some people might jump in the crowd, not even get caught. <laughs> I, I, I forgot who it is who jumped in the crowd it, it, and the crowd just kind of like let them fall on the ground. That's the kind of shit you get when you don't have that respect of your core fan base or if you're just out here talking about some bullshit that people can't relate to. But people obviously respect Bones. They know, look, he's a pioneer of this sound. He's a dope rapper. You know what I mean? He, he, he speaks about things that we can relate to. So we, are, we, we have no problem abiding by these dead boy rules because we know that Bones is a real one. And the last track on this album is, you know, kind of like a somber, like, you know, sad feeling song just to kind of end off the album. I think it ends off the album pretty great. It sounds like a Keiko Matsui. I don't know if you guys know who that is, but really, really dope pianist. I, don't, I actually don't know what the sample is. I tried finding it based on like the what the guy was saying at the end. 
I don't know if it was a sample for you know per se or if it was just like you know what I mean like a live recording that he pulled from somewhere I don't know where he is with you know samples using it on this album but it, it was definitely dope nice somber feel to end off the album and that was my uh you know little review just talking about the album a little bit I don't really like doing too many like reviews and you know really giving like that perspective on things because I think everybody subjective perspective is different you know what i mean like somebody might say yo this is the greatest album some somebody might say oh this album is whatever somebody might you know say something different or somebody might listen to it once and say it's trash or listen to it once and say it's good i think unless you sit with an album for like a month or you have some kind of knowledge on how to even rate music i don't think you should be just out here just giving reviews and all this shit i i I just think it's kind of kind of tacky in a way. It's like, oh, I, I I got my one day review after listening to it for one time, and I got a whole review, and I'm gonna do a video on it. It's just kind of like, you know what I mean? Especially if you've never been a creator, if you've never, you know, done music, if if you don't know about hip hop bars, production, you know, engineering, all that kind of stuff like that, then kind of makes your opinion invalid. So. This was just my perspective on things that I know from a music standpoint. You know what I mean? And listening to Bones and really listening to it a couple times. I listened to it and I worked out about two or three times. You know what I mean? Just listen to it at work. Just to just just to get a different feel. I just listened to it before I did the video one more time. Just to really make sure that what I was saying was was really what I felt was portrayed through it. You know, look at some comments, but you can't really look at too many comments. Because if one person says whack, then you might start, you know, looking at it with the mindset that is whack and... I don't really think that's fair to the artists. But uh, make sure you like and subscribe to uh, Two Educated Guys, and we have a lot more coming up for you, man. This is Pete. Peace. Woo!